So without a doubt, one of the most annoying things that can happen on your mobile device is applications just freezing and not working the way they're supposed to. And in this video, I'm going to show you some really cool and easy troubleshooting steps you can take to fix that issue all by yourself. And this goes for any application in your Android system, including some of those troublesome system apps that can freeze every now and then. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop us a like, subscribe to the channel for more tech support videos just like this one. But without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, for the most part, this is going to work with any application that seems to not be able to start properly on your Android device. One of the first things you want to do, and I know this is probably going to be the simplest troubleshooting step of all, but it's scary how frequently it actually works and that's going to be rebooting your phone rebooting is really just restarting so you're going to hold the power button down you're going to either power it off or you're going to restart the phone completely set it down give it a couple minutes let it reboot once it comes back up then you go back in and you try to open the app as normal and hopefully that simple troubleshooting step will work if not i'm definitely going to show you some other ones you can try so let's say by happenstance this is one of the first times the rebooting trick does not work and you want to try to force stop the app application and restart it. And the way you force stop an application is you're actually just going to go into your settings and Android phones differ from settings to settings, but most of them have all these general settings in them. You're going to be looking for applications. Once you're in the applications, you want to get to the list of applications you have installed in your device. You want to locate the application you're having the problem with. We're going to say it's Amazon Alexa. And once you're in, you're going to have this force stop option. You click it, you click OK. It's going to go through. It's actually going to stop the application completely. Once that's grayed out then you just hit the open button again it's going to relaunch the application fresh and brand new and hopefully that force stop and restart will get you into the app so now the next thing you want to try is to actually clear the app data and you can actually do this from a couple of different places in your phone i would definitely suggest clearing it directly from the application itself same thing like we did before you go into your settings you go to applications you get your list of applications and you click on the application you're having the issue with once that's complete then you're going to go into storage and cache and you're going to have all all the information that the app has stored on your mobile device here you simply just want to clear the cache and you want to get all that information out and once that's done you're going to go back out to the front and you're going to open the app again clearing the cache just basically clears all the stored metadata that the application has in your device so it's open it brand new and hopefully again that's going to fix the issue that you're having so now the next thing we're actually going to do is check for updates for that specific application i know that i have my google play set to auto update applications but from time to time it doesn't so if i go in here and i go to applications you see that there's a bunch of updates that need to be done on a lot of the applications i have in this device even though it does have my Google Play set to auto update is turned on. Now this could just be a scenario where your phone was turned off or it's just not getting a signal so the application may not have auto updated or at the time it's supposed to auto update it just didn't have enough information to do that. Either way you're going to go in here and you basically just scroll through and you look for the application that you're having the issue with and you tap the update button it's going to go ahead and run the update for that application. Once the update process is completed then you can try to relaunch that application application once more and hopefully that's going to fix your problem. Now if that's not the case then you're going to try to actually uninstall the app that you currently have the version of the app anyway and reinstall it. That's also really simple you're just finding the app within your system you click that uninstall button it's going to go through the entire process make sure everything is uninstalled. After that uninstall I actually like to reboot the phone as well just in case and once the phone comes back online you're going to go back into the play store and just re-download the application try to launch it once more and again hopefully that fixes the problem now another thing that can cause the app to crash is if it doesn't have the proper permissions and normally you would grant the app permissions when you first open it it's going to ask you for all these information on what it needs access to i would always say review that permissions list just in case you don't want that app to have access to something that it's going to need access to in order to work then you can make that decision there but if it doesn't have the proper access sometimes it just doesn't launch or it just doesn't work properly so if you go into your settings you go to application you get that application list back and you click on the application you're having an issue with and you go into permissions and you just make sure the application has all the permissions it needs in order to fully work it'll show you what permissions are allowed what permissions are denied and you can go in here and make sure again that the permissions are set to where the app needs in order for it to work properly because that's something that can definitely cause an application not to work on your phone another 
other thing you want to check is your storage. Storage and RAM play a big role in launching and making sure applications work. If your storage is maxed out, if you're using all the possible memory on your phone, it's just not going to work properly. Applications are just not going to load properly. So you want to try closing out some of the applications you may already have open if you have a bunch of applications open. And if you don't have any storage space, try managing the storage and cleaning up some space, rebooting your phone, trying to launch that application again and see if it works. And then the final step is really just going to be checking for system updates. And that's just Android updates in general. You want to make sure that you're running the latest Android OS operating system patch. You want to make sure everything is as updated as possible in order for the app to work properly. And then you also could just cycle your internet connection, turn your internet off, wait a couple of seconds, let it go to either 5G or turn your data off. Let that sit for a couple of seconds, then turn all your connections back on and then try launching the app once more and seeing if that fixes your issue. If you're still having problems, then it's quite possibly could be an issue with the app itself, maybe an update or something brick or broken. It. So you can always go to the app page, comment and wait for the app creator just to respond to you. But for the majority of app problems you're going to have with the Android phone, these eight steps are going to resolve that for you. No problem. And again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful at all, definitely go ahead and share this content out. It definitely helps the channel. Also drop us a like and also subscribe to the channel for more great tech support videos just like this one. Thank you so much for checking it out. And as always, make sure to stay safe out there. And until I see you guys next time, peace out.